folks, Dickle F. Lockett here. If you were expecting the final episode of the 1937 Spartan, well, that's been canceled due to Buzz waiting for a grill cloth to arrive. So what is in today's video? Well, last month, Old 64 Goat sent Buzz a 1964 Globetrotter radio because he had trouble fixing it. Well, I uh, picked up this at the Jewett City flea market for $5. So today, Buzz will attempt to repair that radio instead of the Spartan, which will be completed in the coming few weeks. So sit back and relax, grab a snack and a beverage of your choice, and see if that dumb stoop Buzz can fix this transistor radio. So without further ado, here is today's video. I thank you. Well, it's time to work on old 64 goats radio that he sent me. Hi, Buzz. So, let me go ahead and open it. See what we get here. Get that box open. Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. Let's get it all unboxed here. This job isn't going to be like any of the others. Oh, he sent me some Altoids. Nice fella. I need these. My breath has been stinking lately. You got that right. Strong mints. Peppermint. Thanks, goat. <laughs> now he sent me a transistor radio. It's an RCA Victor model RFG45E. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, don't just stand there. Get on with it. Uh-huh. I told him uh, I'd like these uh, batteries that were with the radio. These are kind of neat looking, huh? Don't those uh, reek of the uh, 60s? Yes, indeed. RCA Victor Globe Trotter 8 Transistor. Sort of a neat looking radio, huh? Now, he said he, he replaced some of the caps on here. You betcha. Looks like you replaced these. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Let's put power to it and see what we get. Yay! I got one of these uh, universal AC DC adapters, so I set it on six volts. Now the outside here is the negative, and I've got this screw in here connected to the middle pin there, so that's the positive. Well, that sounds good. Well, I hear something. Whoa. I fixed it. It's working pretty good now. Yeah, I don't know what the actual question is. And, and like I said, until we find a vaccine, I'm not sure you're going to get an endpoint to this thing. Picking up stations. Yeah, before we let you go, we're going to... It's what we do at AAA every day. Seems to work fine. Good job. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go back and uh, look at Old 64 Goat's video. Okay, I watched Old 64 Goat's video, and I think I got it figured out here. This is the original cap that he was trying to replace. He said it was in here, and he was trying to replace this with this one here. Aha! This is a 100 microfarad at 100 volts and this was 100 at 10 volts so this is the smallest he had so he was trying to hook this in here like that somehow and he didn't have much luck I'm a stupid glutton for punishment and it is kind of hard to get in there but uh, what I think I'll do is I'll put this over here what? okay the 
negative went here, the positive goes down here. That's crazy. I think that'd be okay just like that. So it's plugged in and everything. Let's turn it on. Plenty of volume. Okay, success. We've done it. We've done it. I was in the process of uh, getting this ready to put it in the case. I had the, the uh, speaker wired up, ready to go. And then uh, I wanted to test it again. And let me show you what happened. Uh-oh. The volume's all the way up. Oh, that's bad. I don't hear anything either. And so I definitely lost uh, We lost something there. <laughs> So, I was thinking that uh, he mentioned he didn't replace these caps here. So I got a little cap here. I wanted to see if this would uh, make any difference. So let me show you here. Yeah, boost there. Okay, okay, that's better. Let me tack that in there and uh, we'll play around with it some more. Okay, I've got this little cap here uh, tacked in there. Let's try it now. Miller and another spokesperson for Homeland Security who are in that room uh, who are who, who that volume. pressuring him uh, not to do so. Um, as we wrap up, Jacob Soberos, um, again, ICE reporting more than... Three it looks like that cap is uh, bad. I'm going to change uh, the rest of the caps in here. There's one more here, and uh, there's one up here. It's a strange radio. One minute it works, one minute it doesn't. Okay, I took out this cap, the 100 microfarad at 6 volts. Take a look at this. It says, uh, unknown or damaged part. It's not even registering on the meter there, so that baby's bad. What a bad boy you are. Here's the replacements for those two here. I'm gonna solder those in place. We'll see if it works now. All right, let's try it. Yeah! Let's see here. Okay, it's hooked up. Again, this is... So... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, because I, I'm thinking about people that might be using it, right? And, and they... To, Plenty of volume. Even the transportation side of it. Getting... Hey. Specialist 50325.
Okay, now the only electrolytic cap left, where the hell is it? It's this one here. Let me pull it out and test it. Okay, here it is. This is a 20 microfarad at 10 volts. Minus here. Come on, baby. It's trying. There we go. We got the. Uh, it's reading at 44 microfarad. ESR 5.4 ohms. VLOS 3.7. Let me see if I can find a 20 somewhere. I found a 22 at 50 volts, so that should work. Okay, let's check it. And um, so yeah, this, that's kind of where I started. Um, and I, I, I love living in Vancouver. It's been a lot of fun being down here. Um, Sounds pretty good. Uh, originally from central Washington. I'm Rhonda Shelby. What? Okay, you know, I think I'll take this off. It's really dirty inside there. You can see the dirt in here, over here. Hopefully I can get this off and clean that up because that's a really nice looking uh, dial there. I think I've got it. There we go. This is uh, pretty yellowed and dirty. Okay, I got it back in the case. Cleaned it up. Put some like shoe polish on here, kind of shine it up a little bit. Beautiful, graceful, elegant. Looking pretty good. 
Let's just see what we can pick up here. There's a radio on top of the uh, Spartan cabinet here. Making throws, uh, even in the good weather, early in the year. And then everyone wants to point out these highlights from 2000. But that's hard to deal with, because look, I mean, he, he was the face of the franchise. He was he was big time. He won or not. They might say it's about safety or whatever, or fact check. Glad you did hear it. Uh, what did you come to first? What kind of event was your first event? Basketball tournament. Oh, it looks great. It's at Signature Paving Services. Get on their schedule now. How long that he has? Yeah. Oh, he's pitching a perfect game. Some of it's... Asthma. Everybody has something that will fall on there. What's happening on the national? And trust me, we did not plan this, but if you notice nationally, Nancy Pelosi and, and the um. Do we should be a работе молитесь вот как-то не так, чтобы это было видно на людях или размышляете о своей жизни, размышляете о духовных вопросах. That's absolutely right. I agree with what you're saying. Me too. So there you go. The 1964 RCA Victor Globetrotter radio. Working. Well, I'll be damned. That dumb stoop Buzz actually fixed the radio. Maybe he's not as dumb as I thought he was. Good night, folks. Thanks, Buzz. We'll be seeing you around.